Hey everyone, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel where today we are doing a long overdue favorites video. It has been a solid four months since I did my last favorites video. And even though I'm obviously recommending new products to you guys all the time, I'm sharing what I like, what I don't like in various other videos, and we have that whole test it out Tuesday thing now, I just felt like it was about time that we sit down and do a good old fashioned favorites video. I've got an array of things here. I'm really excited to talk about them. Some of them are pretty new to me. Some of them I've been using for like the last four months since the last favorites video. So let's get in and let's start talking about them. Um, don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, do the things, jazz hands, let's go. Okay, so the first thing, I have to do this first because this is a life changer. And this is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. I reviewed this for one of my Try It Out Tuesday videos and I will link that down below because you have to see the results for yourself. You guys know I am always on the lookout for something that is just gonna like stop traffic. It's so good. And this is that product. I have been having the worst time with my hair recently. My hair is in just the worst condition that it's been in in years. Before using this, my hair was so dry. It was so frizzy. It was dead. It felt like some kind of nylon wig that had been back combed and sprayed with cheap hairspray. It's still definitely not its best self. It needs a lot more TLC moving forward, but this did so many wonderful things. You just wash your hair as normal, and then instead of using your regular conditioner, you just towel dry your hair, pop this on for, I think they recommend like 15 minutes. I was leaving mine on for an hour to three hours at a time. One night I actually left it on all night long, my hair just needed that much treatment. It was in such a state, but this, oh, it fixed it, it really did. Whenever I would wash this out and then I'd run a brush through my hair, there would be no knots, no tangles, it would feel silky soft. And then when I blow dried it, it would be shiny, it would be silky. It was just a complete transformation. And to find a product that gives you such immediate, noticeable results, you do not get that often. So I cannot recommend this highly enough. This is kind of on the pricier side. It comes in at around 35 pound. I wouldn't recommend a 35 pound hair mask to you guys unless I felt that it was significantly better than any of the lower priced hair masks that I've used. And I do, I feel like it's, it's a lot better. So it's worth the investment in my opinion. Try it out, see what you think, let me know. I love it. Let's talk about the next thing, which is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. My skin has been completely all over the place recently. Some days it's oily, some days it's dry. I just never know what to expect. So I decided to step away from the mattifying primers just because it wasn't working out so well for me on the days when my skin was dry. I also wanted to take a step away from those pore filling primers that I've always used since like the dawn of time because I was starting to get these little white bumps on my face and when I looked it up it said that it could be caused by the pore filling primers and all the things that they put in there. So I made a change and I changed to the Angel Veil and I really like it. It's very light on the skin, it's very smooth, it leaves my skin feeling nice and soft and my makeup goes on really nicely over the top even though it's not necessarily like a pore filling primer, it does help to reduce the appearance of my pores, it helps to keep everything in place, and generally does all the things that you would want a primer to do at a pretty reasonable price. Okay, next is another kind of miracle product for me, and this is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Body Wash. This is brand new to me. I've been using it for less than a week and I am already sold. I am in love. Again, it's kind of on the pricey side because it's a pretty small bottle and I think it was £7.50. Sorry, this is wet from the shower. I think it was £7.50, which for such a small container, particularly a body wash, seems like a lot. But I'm only using a really small amount of it every time I shower and I will explain why. So you guys have probably heard me complain about the water here and all of the things that it's doing to me. I'm like slowly becoming a mutant. That's the reason my hair was in such bad condition and also it was affecting my skin. At first, it was only my face and so I tried to keep my face out of the water but then this 
weird rash thing started to spread first onto the back of my neck then down onto my back and then my shoulders and then my chest area and it was itchy and red and painful and just these big bumps so i decided to go ahead and get a tea tree body wash to try and clear that up and within the first two uses I noticed a huge difference. I mean, it got really bad at one point. I would never have been able to wear a top like this because my chest and shoulders and back were just covered in these hideous big spots. And this just cleared it up really, really quickly. If you guys are suffering from acne or some kind of reaction or a rash, I would recommend this and see how it goes. Because if you didn't know, tea tree has excellent antibacterial properties and it's really good for acne and that kind of thing. Okay, next thing that I am in love with, I've been in love with for a long time and I realized this morning that I've never mentioned it to you. This is the Revolution Baking Powder. It says lace, I'm assuming that's the color. I seem to remember them having a few different shades. Don't quote me on that. I'm a big fan of baking my face because I tend towards an oilier complexion. It's a necessity for me, especially if I want my makeup to last all day. And this is just the perfect baking powder. It doesn't dry me out, it doesn't look cakey, it swipes off very easily once you're done, and I feel like it just gives my face that extra little bit of a something. You know, that extra little icing on the cake, if you will. Also, I've been using mine since December and I've barely made a dent in it. You probably won't be able to see, but I've used barely any. And I'm not using this particularly sparingly. Oh no, I'm like really throwing it out there. But it's still just lasting and lasting, which is great, particularly because this is a pretty affordable product anyway. I don't wanna throw some random price out there because I don't remember, but it was, it was super cheap. My next favorite right now is another bargain. I feel like we did a couple of pricier products. I mean, 35 pounds is hardly really breaking the bank, but you know, for me, I like a bargain. And this definitely is one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This one is in Blossom Glow. It's kind of like a pinky silvery highlight, but it's not super cool. I had another highlight prior to this, but it was just too cold for my face. I can't go for a true gold highlight because I'm so pale, but I didn't really like that frosty effect of the really silvery highlights. So this falls in a really nice place in the middle. It's super pigmented. It blends really nicely and again, it's a super affordable price. Again, I don't remember exactly how much. This is probably the least helpful video ever, but I think it fell somewhere around the region of 4.99. I mean, it came in under 5 pound, I'm pretty sure. So this is a winner for me. Another winner from Wet n Wild, again, super affordable. It's just a basic eyeliner pencil. It's in black. There's not a lot you can say about an eyeliner pencil other than it's pigmented, it looks nice, it does the job. And my last favorite for right now is, I guess technically a beauty product, it's Biotin. I made a video about Biotin years ago. It feels like millennia have passed since I made that video. I love Biotin, I stand by Biotin as a product that works. I switched it up a little bit, some might call it extreme, because I went from taking, I think, 300 UGs of biotin a day to 5,000. So we're really stepping up the biotin game with this, but I really do think it works. If you're trying to grow your hair quicker or thicker or just in better condition, biotin is definitely something that you should be looking into. It's also amazing for your nails. It just makes them super strong and helps them to grow quickly. So it's kind of a miracle beauty pill some might say. I would be one of those some. I love biotin, I really do. This one is from Holland and Barrett. It's the Solga biotin. That's, that's all. It looks like this. 5,000 UGs. Some might say it's extreme, but I'm, I'm trying. I've got a lot of issues going on that I'm trying to solve, okay? Okay, so those are all of my favorites right now. And we're gonna wrap up this video with an old tradition that has been requested that we make a return to. So back right at the start of my YouTube career, when I was filming my videos on my iPhone 4, I would have my favorites videos as must-haves and lust-haves. And at the end, I would give a lust have, which would be something that I wish that I owned that I currently do not. And a request has been made that we return to that. We're gonna do it, okay? 
we're gonna do it's happening right now I have so many less tabs right now there are so many things that I want to go out and buy but one thing that keeps popping up on my Instagram which as you guys know is where I do most of my shopping are these magnetic lashes I don't remember what they're called I'll link them down below so you guys can go and check them out but they're false lashes and instead of applying them with glue they have magnets on so you literally just like clip them on top of your own eyelashes which just seems like it would change everything <sighs> I feel like I'm probably gonna buy them today is what's gonna happen but that is all I have for my favorites for maybe the next four months who knows but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell so that you'll know every time I upload a video. Let me know in the comments down below if there is anything that you guys are loving right now. Is there anything that I should be trying out that I'm not? Give me some more lust tabs. It's not as if my list is long enough already. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you soon. Bye.